Doctor Who fans have been waiting in anticipation for the announcement of the next Time Lord. After three seasons of the long-running sci-fi drama, Jodie Whittaker decided to step down from the iconic role. While bookmakers speculate who the potential replacement will be, new figures show a silent witness star as high in the ranks, but who will be entering the TARDIS next? Faseo Akinade, who played Andrew Dewey in BBC's Silent Witness, could be the next actor to take the reins with his odds at 6-1. Andrew worked for Stephen, played by Max Cavenham, renting out rooms in a house on Church Street, but only made a short appearance. Aside from his work on the stage, Akinade is also known for his roles as Ziggy in Ordinary Lies and Dean Monroe in both Cucumber and Banana. The much-loved E4 drama series was created by Russell T. Davies, who will be replacing Chris Chignall as the Doctor Who showrunner. In an interview with the BBC, Russell said, We've got a lad in this called Faseo Akinade in Banana and Cucumber who is 26 years old and never done TV before and has an absolute star. At the top of the betting with Lad Brooks, actor Lydia West has a 3-1 chance of becoming the 14th incarnation of the Doctor. BBC viewers will recognize Lydia from years and years, and it's a sin, which were both written by Russell. The actress is one of three It's a Sin stars in the race to replace Jodie. Ollie Alexander is fancied at 4-1, while 5-1 is on offer for Amari Douglas. Jessica O'Reilly of Lad Brooks said the cast of It Saves then continued to dominate the top of the betting to become the next Doctor Who, but it's Lydia West Woe still attracting the most money and Edge's favoritism. The show's latest installment, Eve of the Daleks, saw the Doctor, Dan, played by John Bishop, and Yaws, Mandip Gill, getting stuck in a loop where they kept getting exterminated by Daleks. Viewing figures were reportedly among the worst in the show's history. 3.4 million BBC viewers tuned in to watch the latest episode of the long-running series. A source said Jodie's legacy is leaving behind viewing figures that are among the worst in the show's long history. Although far more people watch programs on catch-up, this still doesn't make up for the decline in viewers since 2018. While a BBC spokesperson said Doctor Who is one of the most popular shows on BBC iPlayer and has been streamed 50 million times in the past year. The broadcasting service claimed the show generated 7 million streams of the recent series and viewers now have the option to choose where they watch it.